3.4 number 6. Graph 4x minus 5y equals 20 using the slope and the y-intercept. Well, if we want to use the slope and y-intercept for that equation, we need to get it into y equals mx plus b format because then we know the slope is the coefficient of x and we also know that b is the y-value of the y-intercept. So we'll be able to graph the y-intercept at 0b. So let's go ahead and solve our equation for y. Oops. Yeah, rewrite that. 4x take away 5y equals 20. Solve for y. That's what's going to get us the slope-intercept format. So the first thing we need to do is take away 4x from both sides. All right, we don't want the x term to be there. And we need to subtract it from both sides. It goes away on the left. Negative 5y equals, and I'm going to keep the x term first because that's what the slope-intercept format looks like. Minus 4x plus 20. They don't combine because they're not like terms. Divide by minus 5 because we don't want the negative 5 to be there. We want it to cancel out. That's okay as long as each term gets divided by negative 5 on the right. So we have y equals minus minus is positive 4 fifths x plus over minus is negative 4. So y equals 4 fifths x take away 4. Compare that to mx plus b. And we know that the slope is 4 fifths. And then we know that the b value is minus 4, which means we have a y-intercept of 0 minus 4. Now that's the first thing you start with when you're making the graph. First make the point at the y-intercept 0 minus 4, and then we'll put the slope in there. We'll incorporate it. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0 minus 4. Slope is 4 over 5. All right, so. That's either plus 4 over plus 5 or minus 4 over minus 5, one or the other. All right, and the plus and minus are important because this is the change in y over the change in x. All right, so if I have plus 4 over plus 5, the change in y is positive 4 means up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Over the change in x is plus 5 means to the right, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have another point right here. I could use the minuses. The minus would, would take me from here. Minus 4 means down 4 for y. 1, 2, 3, 4. Minus 5 means left 5 for x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's another point. All right, so you can kind of keep building points by using the up 4 over 5. Those are all points. But basically, as long as you start with your intercept value, your y-intercept, get your next point using the slope. The easiest way possible would be to go up 4 over 5. You got your line. And then a we'll straight line through it. Arrows on both ends to show it goes on forever. It doesn't just stop at the points. And there we have our answer. And let's fit in another one here. 3.4 number 7. Graph x plus 3y equals 6 using the slope and the y-intercept. All right, exact same approach as last time, so let's go ahead and solve for y. Oops, I don't want 3x. I want x plus 3y equals 6. And then take away x on both sides because we don't want the x there. Those dots are just coming from, th from the other page that we just did. 3y equals negative x plus 6. Divide everybody by 3, each term. That's gone. I get y equals negative. If there is nothing next to the x, you've got a 1. So minus 1 third x plus 6 over 3 is 2. So right away, after I've done that, I know my y-intercept is 0, 2. And I know my slope is minus 1 third. And that means change over y over change in x. So that means down 1 to the right 3. 
So let's start with 0, 2, the intercept value. 0, 2, there's our y-intercept. And now I'm going to incorporate the slope and go down 1 to the right 3. Down 1, 1, 2, 3 to the right 3. There we go. That's going to give us our line. And we put arrows on both ends to show it goes forever, and we have our solution. And I think I got time for one more here. 3.4, number 11. Graph the line going through the point 51 with zero slope. All right, let's graph the point 51 first of all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. There's 5, 1. Slope is zero. Well, slope is change in y over change in x. So it's got to be 0 over some number, whatever that number is, right? Um, because we have a slope of 0. If we had an undefined slope, the 0 would be on the bottom, but that's not what we have. We have a 0 slope. So that means the change in y is 0. If the change in y is 0, that means we're never changing height. We're always staying at this level right here. Our x value can change. It can be any number at all. But our y value is not moving. So I'm just going to put a bunch of points at the same height. And that means that's, yeah, I just dropped my ruler. That is my um, straight line right there. I'm at one height, or one y position. I've got a horizontal line. Horizontal line, slope zero. All horizontal lines have slope zero. And this one happens to go through now the point 5, 1. And that would be our solution for that problem.